Okay, this is a cabin bed that we did and we showcased before. Now we are turning this into a beach bed or a beach house bed. My other son wants to have a beach room or beach theme room and so we want to create a beach bed. So we have two options here. One is we really sanded it down and my original thought was that we just polyed it like it is so it looks like driftwood. That's option one. Option two, which is what we initially thought we were gonna do is paint it completely white, stark white. So it looks kind of like, I don't know, like a, like kind of just like a little beach house, like a cute little beach house, Cape Cod style type thing. Give it a white finish to it, dark blue windows, so it looks like a kind of a beach house. <laughs> Are, middle of sanding, it's a lot of sanding. Okay, so this is what the bed looks like kind of in like a final assembly before we decide if we're going to poly it or um, if we're going to paint it white or whitewash it. Um, we've got to dust it all down, of course. Just want to get a nice clean coat of poly on it. i got to still sand a little bit on this and a little bit on the inside. Um, of course, I broke my sander, so now i got to go get a new sander. What are you going to do? Okay, the last thing I wanted to say is after we get this done, this is what the clubhouse bed looked like or the um, camping bed, we made it kind of a camping theme. That's why it's got kind of green windows and that sort of thing. It has a thing that says, you know, canoe rentals or whatever. You can see that in the previous video, uh, previous bedroom tour, I think we did it in. Um, what we're gonna do differently with this one, we haven't decided exactly how we wanna do this yet. We might cut the legs down a little bit to make it more of a ground height because frankly, you can't do much underneath it anyway. Um, the idea originally was to get it high enough and then we could put like a hammock. That's the name of it, hammock. Originally it was that we could put a hammock under it and that the kids could crawl under there, crawl in a hammock and read a book. Um, but uh, the other thing that we're gonna do a little bit differently with this one is we're gonna put a roof on it. So we wanna put a roof on it. We still have to figure out what kind of uh, roof cover will look good on this bed. Um, we're gonna put some slats across it, maybe just a, a thin sheet of wood across it that we can actually kind of tack down to the tops and the corners. And then we want to put more of like a grass to kind of tiki roof on it. So make it more of a beach theme. These will probably come out and we'll probably do something different with these two just to keep it open. Maybe shutters or something, something cute. But this looks more like a cabin. So these probably got to come out. So at some point we'll rip these out. We'll figure something else out to do with that. Um, maybe those flat down things or something. I don't know yet. Okay, so here we are with this project. We started, we decided to go bright white on it because that's what he, that's what Sutton really wanted it to be, is bright white. Um, so we have, we took out the old green windows because it looked a little too much cabin. And we're literally gonna use these to make little tiny shutters. So there'll be little shutters like that with some little shutter material in between them. They'll be like a, a real dark blue, like a dark flat blue. So they uh, look kind of beachy and, and that sort of thing. And so that's the next step. We're gonna paint these blue, get these cut up, get them put onto the house, and then uh, probably paint the stairs blue as well just to give it a little bit of an accent, you know, so it looks kind of cool. And then uh, we'll start getting it assembled inside of the house. Then the last step is we gotta order some thatch or something for the roof to make it look like a beach hut. Okay, so we're getting ready to put our roof thatch on. And so we're putting some support boards in here, which is nice because it gives a little bit more um, stability from the top to the back. Uh, so we put these support boards in. I use a Craig drill hole so I can actually secure it to the inside here without actually having to go through the front face of the bed to put the, the pieces in for supports. Here we go. Okay, so I'm securing the thatch to the roof by putting a couple screws to the top. We want to do it this way so you can't really see them. It allows me to double up and kind of get the, the look I want to 
double this up, make sure it's nice and secure here. And then I'm gonna stretch it and do the uh, same thing on the other side. Okay guys, here is the beach house bed completed. So obviously we painted everything white. We tried to caulk in some of the, the gaps and stuff like that that made it more of a cabin style bed. We added these, these flat blue shutters um, to it to make it more of a beach theme. And we obviously painted the ladder to match. And we added a thatch roof to it. So we added some bars across the middle of it to hold the thatch roof up. And if this is two pieces that we bought online, we can put a link to it, I think, um, below in the description. And uh, we added this thatch roof to it, and we added some fun lights and stuff of like that because he likes to sleep with a few lights on it, and it makes it kind of fun. We also work very closely with Betty's, and we got you guys the best deal available from Betty's right now. So you can look at the description below. It's 20% off all their bedding. It's fantastic, especially when you start talking about bunk beds or custom beds like this. It's super hard to make these beds and crawl in there as an adult and get things tucked all in there. But he just zips up, so uh, Sutton can even do this. He doesn't always do it, but he can do it. And so, Betty's is really great, and of course it matches perfectly with our blues and whites and our beach themes and that sort of thing as well. So that's really kind of cool. So, there's a ton of different Betty's options. If you want to take advantage of the 20% coupon for that, there is a link in the description below. Click on that, go through, check out what they have. Um, they have this beautiful blue and white. They have a, a gray as well that uh, my son showed you. Um, so he showed you the gray that they have, which is gorgeous. All of it has a really nice interior feature of a very soft interior sheet. And of course they all zip. That's the name of the game. So the other thing that we added is we added a cool little hammock underneath it. So, you know, when we want something to do some reading or whatever, he crawls in there, puts a pillow in there. It's a nice little fun feature for him. And it gives it, it stays with the beach theme and it's blue and matches as well. So this is the bed completed. You'll have to wait for the room to be completed. We have a bunch of other things for the room to, to show the room and show it completed. We have a bunch of that stuff coming still, but we wanted to show you the bed completed and all the work that was done for that. So thanks, for, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Tell us what else you do for your projects and, uh, and show us the, the cool bedding that you guys bought from Betty's. Um, and show us the projects that you do for your kids' rooms. We'd love to see them. See you next time. Thanks.